And here's a video on Boaz. So he just put himself up in his pen, which is kind of funny because he was in trouble for getting into the grain again. Um, now that we have the Belgians moved and they can't cross contaminate with the other horses as easily, Boaz is back to roaming the yard, which he just came out of. He's been all over the place and um, having a good old time today. But he came back in his pen to get some water and I'm actually gonna put him up for a little bit so that he stops making his way into the grain. And um, as you can see, he's looking great. Um, he does have a limp, it is back. We don't know what he did. He was turned out in the field to get some exercise and roam around and he hurt the back right leg again. Um, I'm assuming this is probably an old injury that he's had before and whatever playing and goofing off he did made it worse. So say hi, Boaz. Say hi to everyone. He is so cool. His eye, guys, look at his eye, how it's healed and healing up good. And he's even getting some new eyelashes in there. I don't know if you can see those, but I'm sure you can. Those were all gone, so he's growing new eyelashes. And then where he, um, we had that abscess drained, there's still some hardness under here. So I don't really know exactly what that is. Nobody, nope, 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 nope. You don't need to go out. I know you want to, but you won't stay out of the grain. He was trying to make a great escape, but you can see here, just a second guys, I'll get this gate shut. You can see there where um, the abscess is, the, inc the incisions have totally healed up. Um, there's just a little scab area there and right here, but this area is small. It's a little small, hard area underneath the skin. So we're just gonna leave it alone. It's not huge and big like it was. Of course, he still has this hygroma. Um, no one is wanting to take that off. So uh, they're saying that it'll just keep coming back if he, he lays on this side a lot. But he doesn't lay a lot or for long periods of time anymore. He does mostly, he does the standing um, normal amounts like he should. He doesn't, <laughs> it's hard to video you if you won't let me do it here. Um, yeah, so he stands the normal amount and, um, naps when he should and not overextended periods of time. Um, so anyway, guys, I just wanted you to see the progress and the healthiness that he is. Um, he's shiny. He's still shedding out. I, I, uh, brush him every day or so, but his barrel is still shedding out and you can see He's so pretty. I just love him. He's a wonderful horse. He's a wonderful horse. He is so friendly and so good to us. Aren't you, buddy? Say hi to all your fans and all your people. Look at his little mustache there. See that? See that there? Oh, good boy. I know he's really big and I know he presents to be mostly Percheron, but every now and then I wonder if maybe he was also bred with some of the larger stock um, Gypsy Vanners or Cobbs or something. He's just got a lot of feather on his legs and um, he's got the little mustache up here, right here at the end of his nose, if we can get a, get a, a view of it. See that? See his mustache, the little dark things on the side? but doesn't help you guys enjoy this video of Boaz. He's doing great. He's really doing great. He gets pain meds for his back leg. Um, he didn't get any today because we want to be careful not to overextend that, that administration of pain, pain meds because, you know, over a long period of time that it can cause uh, kidney issues, liver issues. So, he still gets the, the ration 
of uh, buteless three times a week. Uh, this week we've done four and um, normally getting out and exercising is what helps him the most and it helps with that back leg. Um, but he is limping quite a bit today. I mean, he's favoring it. You can see he's holding it up. It's not warm. It's not swollen too terribly bad, um, but it does hurt him. I don't know if it's up here in the actual stifle, which is where I've always wondered if he had pain. Um, but again, there's not a lot we can do for him at this point other than give him some medications to, to help deal with that discomfort and any inflammation. I got a little sad over the deal though, I have to say. We we saw that he was doing so good and he wasn't limping and then we turned him out to enjoy some pasture time with other buddies and he came in limping. So uh, it made us pretty sad. But here's our Boaz guys. Hey guys, just a quick update on Boaz. You can see here that his hooves are improving. It's been a little bit since we've been able to give you guys any kind of update, but there's still some infection and in thrush um, all through this area and then down up in that crevice. Um, I think our little concoction is working. I know this is slow, but so far things are looking up here. So this is the right hind foot, and I don't know if you guys remember this, but it was in such terrible, terrible condition. And then over here on the side, you can see where there's a lot of hoof growing. Um, we're using that new hoof accelerator, and I think it is really an awesome product. So you can see where the old hoof, and it was cracked at the time when we got him in February that crack was all the way up here. I mean, it was touching this white line. Um, I'm sorry, the coronet band up here. So anyway, just wanted to give you an update on this hoof. Boaz is always getting tons of love and affection and attention. He's one spoiled boy.